TIFU by getting getting tested to donate a kidney to my wife new update. This is a new update on a story previously shared here. Originally posted by you throwaway wife I smize in our tifu on February 18th. 23. Updated March 2nd. 23. New update on October 11th. 23 is marked with red circle red circle red circle. Trigger warning. Accidental incest. Mentions of organ transplant. Health issues. Adoption. Less than. Original post. TIFU by getting getting tested to donate a kidney to my wife. I decided to get tested to see if I could donate my kidney to my wife of six years. We have two kids together. 4F, 2 meters. My wife got sick just after our son was born and now is in need of a kidney transplant. We checked with her relatives and none were a match or a viable donor. Last week I got tested. I knew it would be a long shot so I decided to get tested to see if I could donate. I got a call the other day saying that I was a match. The doctor then said something about wanting to do additional testing due to some information from the HLA tissue test results. I didn't think much of it and agreed. Then the results came in I was shocked and confused. He explained that because of how DNA information is passed down through generations a parent to a child could have at least a 50% match. Siblings could have a 0100% match. It was rare to have a high match as husband and wife. I asked what does that mean? He said that my wife and I have an abnormally high match percentage. Long story short we're related. No I'm not kidding. I was put up for adoption before I was born. Placed into a family that moved across the country. I knew I was adopted but we didn't have any I formation about my bio family. It was a closed adoption. I met my wife by chance 8 years ago. I was on a trip from work and she was working at the site I went to. We worked together for a week. We exchanged numbers kept in touch. I was sent back there three more times that year and each time we became closer. I was given the opportunity to be transferred out there in a new higher paying position in a different department as hers the rest is history. I don't know what to do moving forward but I know it may be wrong. She is my wife and the mother of our kids. This post is probably going to get removed but it is all true. TL. DR. Wife of 6 years needs a kidney I got tested and we have an abnormally high match percentage for being husband and wife. Edit. Look at name. All of my family is from my adopted parents. My parents adopted me 2 minutes after I was born. Their name is on my birth certificate. They have not told me anything about my bio parents and don't have any info. Her family is not a match as stated above most of her family has low match potential or can't donate due to medical or other reasons. I am two years older than my wife. I do know that my wife was born when her parents were late teens. And NBSP. Update two weeks later. This is an update. The original was posted about two weeks ago. Yes I know I misspelled across. Yes. I do have bad grammar and spelling. Yes. I am stressed and freaking out. Yes. I can play the banjo. No there was no genetic test when we got married. Our state stopped that in the 1990s. No. My wife has never been stuck in the dryer but. She once got stuck under the bed. Joke. The reason I did not go in too much detail is to try to not be so specific that I or my wife might be recognized. Well, the front page of Reddit didn't help with that. Thank you all for your comments and feedback. I didn't respond to them but I did read all of them. The reason her family couldn't donate was that close relatives had some medical issues that prevent them from donating. Examples. High blood pressure. Diabetes. Cancer. Heavy drinkers. And more. The further out we tested the less percent of a match. I wanted to be tested because we needed to find someone. The doctor said it would be unlikely but wouldn't hurt to try. 
I was freaking out after I got the news and had to get outside advice. When the doc said that the percentage was abnormally high and that we might be related I kind of zoned out and started to piece things together in my mind. My parents live a thousand miles away. They met my in-laws a few times. Once at my wedding and when both my children were born. My children are fine. My daughter is incredibly smart for her age. My son is a handful and healthy. The way my adoption worked was when my bio mom gave birth to me I was checked out and put in a different room. I was there but don't know how it officially worked. From what my parents explained they were in that room waiting. They never met my bio mom in person. My bio mom only had a profile and picked them out of many candidates. I called my parents and told them that I needed to know everything they knew about my bio mom. They told me that they had limited knowledge. They said she was a single mom that was 16 years old. The father was not in the picture. Also, I was born in a hospital one hour from where my wife was born. Like I said limited knowledge. Growing up I didn't want to find out about my bio parents. To me, my parents were always my parents. I knew I was adopted and that it was a closed adoption. I figure it wouldn't matter long term. I'm not going to do an additional at home DNA test through any of the traditional testing sites. Like 23 or Ancestry due to personal reasons. Like the possibility of the family finding out. The doc said all of this to only me. Not with my wife present. Some of the additional tests were done through the doctor which was the CM test. I'm not an expert on DNA testing. They said it was like a 1900 plus CM match. This basically confirms one of my bio parents is one of hers. It can also mean first cousins or aunt, uncle. I'm guessing her dad. When my kids were born my parents brought photos of me as a baby and commented that I and my son looked a lot like my wife's dad. My son was easily explainable. But all three of us are a different story. I'm not going to bring this up ever. I might look at my fill differently but nothing will hopefully change. I hope none of the family goes on reddit and connects the dots. I am donating my kidney to my wife. We have started the full process. That takes time and a lot of preparation. I plan on talking to my wife after the surgery and after recovery. We will decide what to do with our kids. If we are going to get them tested or ever tell them. I will not be leaving my wife. I love and will always be there for her. I made vows and I will keep them. I love her more than I would a half-sister. TL. Dear I'm donating my kidney to my wife who is most possibly my paternal half-sister. ETA I do plan on telling her after the surgery. She is not doing well and I think this will be even harder in her. I would rather her know that I love her as a husband rather than flip her world upside down right before life-changing and dangerous surgery. If something were to happen, telling our kids is not a decision I'm going to make on my own it will be a joint thing after my wife knows. And NBSP. Red circle red circle red circle. New update part 1. October 11th. 23. My wife is probably my half-sister. PT.1. Again. English is my first language. I'm just bad at it. People still think this is fake. And that is okay. It is my life. Not yours. In the long term. It only affects my life. Not yours. Okay. First. My wife and I did go through with the transplant. We both are recovering, have recovered well now. My wife is the healthiest she has been since just after our son was born. My profile has all the other posts. But since I posted this on my profile you most likely are up to date. I have tried to write this update about a gazillion times. Hopefully, I can finish this one and not miss anything and try to give details in order. This will probably be my only update. Thanks to the people who reached out and shared your personal experiences and advice. With the transplant, it helped. So I kept to my original plan. 
I did not tell my wife about the possibility of us being related until after the surgery. Before the surgery, my parents came into town as soon as they could. It really helps having a big family support system like we have. The days leading up to the surgery seemed like there just wasn't enough time in the day for everything, with 900 doctor appointments, getting things prepared for worst case scenarios, researching, setting up my parents and other family in our house to watch our kids and just spending time together as a family. The doctors were fantastic and laid everything out in a professional but relatable fashion. They answered all the questions and concerns we had leading up to, during, and post-op. There were a ton of questions. It was one of the best feelings seeing my wife hopeful for the first time in a long time. I knew I wouldn't be able to live with myself if I took that away from her. In the days leading up, I decided I was going to write a letter to my wife if things went bad for me. But she survived. I wrote her six pages. I have small handwriting. In it, I told her how much I loved her. How much she changed me from the moment we met. How she was my universe. But also how sorry I was for keeping a secret from her and lying to her. Went into details of what I found out over the last week how we might be related and all the evidence. I gave it to my parents to give to her if something were to happen to me. But if we both didn't make it, then to read it with my in-laws. I also made other letters. The surgery went well for both of us. They said my organ, s, look, mighty fine. The transplant worked out rather quickly for my wife. And her body accepted it. I ended up scratching my eye pretty bad. And they put an eye patch on me. So when I saw my wife for the first time, her first words to me were, the doctors knew we were here for the kidney, right? Quote, recovery overall sucks. There was virtually no position that was comfortable. Shout out to the person, S, who recommended sleeping in a recliner, using stuffed animals my kids picked out as comfortable pillows and more. I felt like a baby because my wife never complained and was healing well and taking it easy. Me on the other hand, I'm not so smart and decided I should go against doctor's orders and did not take it easy and ended up having to go to the ER and have a secondary surgery to repair damages I caused. Please listen to your medical professionals. And NBSP, New update part the 2nd of October 11, 23 my wife is probably my half-sister part 2. Now on to what y'all really care about. During recovery, my wife got into TikTok, Reddit. Well, after a time, she found a little post that made it way bigger than I ever intended. Looking back, I should have been more careful. Thanks for all the interaction and thanks to the ladies at 2 Hot Takes. My wife loves you guys. During this time, she started to ask more in-depth questions about my adoption. My parents were still at the house at this point. Parents answered all questions. My wife used the excuse of wanting to put a memory book together for our kids and wanted to include a family history of us growing up and including our parents who raised us. She knew most of this info but wanted more details. She asked her dad about more details of his childhood. How he met my mill. If my mill was his first relationship. She knew some. But I was learning a lot. Also reminder my wife was born when her parents were older teens. I am older than her. He said no mill was not his first relationship. We ended up pulling out his old year books of his from high school. And he showed us the girl who was his first real relationship. I knew she was, probably, my bio mom, I could see features that I have in her. He told us fond memories he had of her. He said their relationship ended because of her parents. And he never saw her again. He tried finding out what happened to her but couldn't. Before the internet, shortly after that, he asked out my mill. And here we are, we got my fill side. Then my mill said, now let me tell you how it really happened. 
proceeded to tell us a different story that was more believable. Nothing about all of this was a red flag indicating that my wife knew my secret. But after that visit, I felt extremely guilty. She was healthier than she had been in years. Out of the major danger zone. So I had no real excuse not to tell her anymore. It took me two additional weeks to finally tell her. She noticed I was acting off and finally asked me if I was okay. I said I needed to talk to her about something serious. Possibly life-altering. And potentially a relationship-ending topic. But that I love her and will do absolutely everything she decided from that point forward. She told me that was not a good start to a conversation and asked if I wanted to try again. So I gave her the letter I had written before the surgery. She went from curious happy crying intense concentration unreadable. In my head, I basically handed her divorce papers. And I would never see her or my kids again. Our life that we have built just got nuked. I'm dramatic in my head. When I get nervous, I pace back and forth. When she finished reading it, she took a moment then came over to me. Stopped me from pacing. Said to look at her. Smile with a genuine smile. And said, you are the dumbest. Smart person I know. Then kissed me. This started a long conversation. She came across my first post after the surgery, and found it oddly specific to our situation. Even though I changed some facts and circumstances, she connected the dots. This started her trying to find out if it was true, if I would eventually tell her or continue to her lie, hide it from her. She reassured me that it changed nothing in our relationship. She is my wife. I am her husband. She will always have a piece of me with her at all times. She said, like a bunch of comments, that she doesn't view it as wrong because we did not grow up together. We didn't know, and it is a bit too late to back out now. We decided to have our kids do genetic testing when they are more age appropriate. Mainly for the unknown from me being adopted. We are not, for now, possibly ever, telling anyone. We also looked up who we, now, suspect is my bio mom. What we found was that she ended up passing a few years ago due to drunk driver. Don't drink and drive, but I possibly have two other half-sisters. So, I have dating options down the road if needed. Wife hit me when I told her this. Kids are doing really well. All they know is that mommy is doing better and enjoying spending more time with her in the extra energy, playfulness that she hasn't had in a while. They are doing really well. So, all in all, the best case scenario happened. The only things I would change is if the doctors tell you to take it easy and give you proper medical advice. Follow it. Also, if you are keeping a secret from your wife, so don't. They probably know already and is just letting you keep digging the hole deeper. My wife and I are doing really well. We are probably the closest we have been in a long time. I asked her to marry me again. She said she would think about it. Paused for like 5 long seconds. And of course. Yes. I will marry you. I'm not as afraid as I was about family finding or seeing this post. I now have a goddess-like force to have my back if I, we ever get questioned. We have made contingency plans. Like I said. I probably won't update again. I thank you all. And NBSP. Reminder. Do not comment on the original posts or contact the original poster. I am not the original poster. This is a repost. The posts today sure are something today. After that tragic earlier post I never thought I'd be so happy to read about an accidental incest. Post. The dude seems so wholesome and sweet. I'm glad everyone one in the post is healthy and happy. I think I'm going to bed now. I like this guy. He is a good dude. Who would guess a post about incest could be so sweet and wholesome? He sure knows how to joke. I have dating options down the road if needed.
Am I a bad person for how hard that made me ugly snort? Again, English is my first language, I'm just bad at it. Made me chuckle. Dude, I don't think I could have handled that anywhere as well as he did. If I had a euro for every incest happily ever after story I read on this sub this week I'd have two. Euro. Which isn't a lot but it's odd it's happened more than once. Dating options if it doesn't work out, just killed me. Tears of joy. I remember this one. I'll admit I can't tell if it's real or not but either way a good story and I'm glad things worked. Out. Probably shouldn't have any more kids though. Targaryen approved post. That was a ride. I'm glad it's working out for Oop and his half-sister, wife. Legit I'm happy for them. Even if I'm being silly. My only thought is uh. Maybe they should consider a vasectomy. I know historically inbreeding was bad. But I think it takes more than just one generation to get to the bad stuff. I have no idea. But if it were me I wouldn't risk it. This was the best outcome possible. Oop has jokes. This made me smile. I'm glad everyone is healthy. Friendly PSA that incest genetics IRL don't work the way movies pretend they do. Outside of very very specific recessive genetic traits. Even full-blooded siblings won't produce disabled offspring. There's still enough genetic variation to allow normal development. It takes at least two generations of full-blooded incest to see impairments. So grandma and granddad were siblings and had mom and dad. And mom and dad had little Timmy with the issues. Once you start throwing half-siblings and cousins in the mix, it becomes even less of an issue. I'm not suggesting anyone go out into the world with the intent to bang their sister. But with closed adoptions, sperm donations, and the rarity of genetic testing between couples it's probably a lot more common for oops situation to happen than anyone realizes and it doesn't cause most of those families any notable issue op sounds like a good person from what phil said about losing contact to his first gf op's mom i wonder if he was even aware that she fell pregnant and had his child Seems like her family stopped contact pretty abruptly. This kind of thing has probably happened a million times and no one ever knew. But all the DNA tests that are practically available in dollar stores lol are now showing it. This is the sweetest incest update on this Boru as of today. As an adopted person, this is both EU and AW. But mostly awe. Glad they are sticking together and are laughing their way through life. So sweet. I'm a transracial international adoptee. So we don't have to worry about that. And we've already done ancestry. However. Our families are both from the northern region of the state. So if we are related somehow. It will be through my adoptive family. So socially much worse but biologically a-okay. Melting face. You already have kids and they are assumedly healthy since you didn't mention any crazy abnormalities. If you're happy, you're happy. Donate the kidney to your sister wife and continue being great parents to your children. How is the only post depicting healthy relationship on this sub about incest? With that said, both of them sound sweet and hilarious and I am happy it worked out for them. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.